and once we then get beyond this stage you're then looking at going into the slightly more dense emotional side and the emotional side is clearly where we have energy in motion but this is all to do with the expression of feelings not necessarily feelings themselves because the feeling is internal it's trapped within the body and because it's trapped within the body we have to find a way of expressing it and the feeling is where the trauma is but the trauma is not the event the trauma is the unprocessed event so if you have a loop whereby say you're in a classroom and you put your hand up and you ask a silly question then somebody's going to start laughing at you but you're going to learn that expressing yourself in that manner potentially is unsafe so what then happens is you suppress that and you go within yourself but you need a resource that's going to basically come and give you that safety or allow you to complete that loop cycle so if you're fortunate enough to have a teacher that says right class quiet and down we're just going to answer this question there's no such thing as a silly question then that allows you to sort of exhale and breathe and what that does is that allows the nervous system then to fully process what you've been through and that won't necessarily leave any lingering trauma for you to then potentially have to rediscover at a later date and then go back and heal whereas if we don't have that resource or that interaction then what we get is we get that stuck loop and that stuck loop is where we react based on a past event that never fully completed itself